Fingerprints are fine, but Mike Kohlmeyer takes us to the state's crime lab to show another way criminals are incriminating themselves. It can happen in the middle of the night or first thing in the morning. There was an alarm at a home. Officers responded to find that the front door was left open to the house. Sergeant Barry Eggers says that's when most burglaries occur, in the morning. At a Springfield home, officers found an empty house. And the window was raised up. Electronics stolen. No burglar, no fingerprints, almost no evidence, just a smudge. BCI was able to identify our suspect through, through this. This is a palm. They're using this part of the palm to actually lift the, the window up. Forensic scientist Jerry Lanfear can pull a palm off almost anything. Ledges, coffee mugs. Windows. We don't need the whole palm. It's just uh, whatever part we have, we need to make sure that we have enough ridge detail. And uh, we are looking for unique characteristics. You know, everybody knows about fingerprints, but most people don't know about palm prints. But we have now over 600,000 uh, in our database. Attorney General Mike DeWine wants that number to go up. Ohio has more than 4 million fingerprints on file, but in many cases... They end up getting a palm print, but not a fingerprint. Back in Springfield... In this case, the palm prints solved this case. They had a match. Duranto Davidson, arrested, convicted, and sent to prison. Caught for one reason. People just don't think about palm prints. In Springfield, Mike Kohlmeyer, Fox 45 News.